Today, come along with me as I do my job promoting obesity. Being fat is fun and cool. Hey, welcome or welcome back. We are starting our discussion today about fat acceptance and glorifying obesity. The goal for today is going to be simple. We are just going to take one of their main arguments that they're not doing anything other than existing and we're going to debunk it, clear it off the table. And at the very end of this video, I am including a funny response I found from the fat activist in our last video. The idea that fat people are promoting obesity is nonsense. Promoting obesity is not a real thing and it never has been. Let's get on the same page. There are people who have nothing to do with any social justice movement who do get accused of promoting obesity simply for going about their daily lives while being plus size. This is where it gets really frustrating trying to be a creator existing in the fat body because no matter what we do, even if I had a knit working video of myself, it would somehow be promoting obesity and showcasing unhealthy lifestyles. We are not talking about those people. And also she is not one of those people. I think that's what drives fat phobes nuts is that yeah. I am not trying to change myself. I am just trying to exist. Yes, I am so fat. Yes, I have such a big belly. And it just really makes me who I am today. She is an activist and that is who this series is focusing on. The activists in this fat acceptance movement who deny that that their message has anything to do with promoting obesity or that they are even promoting a message, but who won't actually explain why. They just deflect. The entire concept of promoting obesity is a myth that's used to silence fat people when we advocate for the basic human rights we're so often denied. The word myth gets used a lot in this space, usually to describe concepts that they don't want to acknowledge in reality. We thought you were a myth. Well, you were myth taken. A myth is a widely held but false idea. Not exactly the category I would pick for something like thermodynamic. Anyway, here's some research of endocrinologists literally debunking the calories in versus calories out myth. Myth? If so many people are interpreting behavior as promoting or glorifying obesity, Maybe it's not a myth. Maybe the smart thing would be for fat acceptance to directly engage with this criticism. The only things we are promoting are kindness, respect, and equality. This is just objectively not true. We have no shortage of actual video evidence proving that kindness and respect are not the only things being promoted here. Just click any video on my channel. The words, I am promoting obesity, don't have to be spoken. Hi, I'm Sarah, and today, come along with me as I do my job promoting obesity. Even though I have a day job as an obesity promoter, the clock never stops. Hello, I hope this email finds you well. Say, have you ever considered being fat? Even though my BMI reads high and says that I'm obese, sometimes when I'm hungry, I'll still decide to eat a meal. Crazy, right? Oh, there's my fat fuel now. And lastly, sometimes I'll even take pictures or make videos of myself to post on the internet. After all, how else will I recruit new members? Being fat is fun and cool. Does this sound like a fun job to you? Well, I've got great news. It's so easy to apply. There's only two qualifications for this position. One, be overweight, and two, exist. Apply today so you can help me promote obesity. This kind of reminds me of when you tell a kid to keep their hands to themselves and then they'll start pretending to poke another kid and hit you with the, well, I'm not actually touching them, but the fat acceptance version is, wow, I'm not out here writing emails to convince people to gain weight, so how could I possibly be promoting obesity? The skit might be entertaining, but it's a pretty good sign that someone's not going to engage in a good faith discussion when they start playing games with semantics like this. Ever noticed how when we see folk in larger bodies in mass media or social media, they're accused of promoting obesity. So here's what people think is promoting obesity. If you can't see the screen, she is just showing us pictures of plus size models like Tess Holiday, And she also included the Cosmo covers that said, this is healthy with pictures of obese people on the front. No, here's what is actually promoting obesity. Hey babe, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just making some flyers to promote obesity. Hey babe, what are you doing? I'm just boosting a post on social media to promote obesity. Hi 
there. I'm going door to door today to promote obesity. Can I give you a flyer? I feel confident that they know better, that they know they're using the most literal interpretation of what promoting could mean. And I think this because they will show up in mass to accuse other people of promoting harmful behavior, even when those people aren't handing out flyers and writing emails. There is so much wrong with this. Have you seen the viral video of Gwyneth Paltrow talking about her wellness routine? What's your wellness routine look like now? I eat dinner early in the evening. I do a nice intermittent fast. I usually eat something about 12. In the morning, I'll have some things that won't spike my blood sugar rate. What's wrong with this? Gwyneth Paltrow is promoting health and wellness behaviors that are not healthy or good for you. This is not healthy, which in my opinion, when somebody has influence like Gwyneth Paltrow and these other celebrities is incredibly irresponsible and dangerous. They are perfectly willing to extend the definition of promote or glorify to include public figures making decisions about their own lives all the way to regular people online sharing their before and after photos. Three reasons why those body transformation, weight loss before and after photos just really need to go away. Number one, they promote this idea that thin is always better, smaller body is always better. What that is also promoting is fat phobia. I think we all know that a message can be sent with no words even. The conversation and subsequent policies that have been formed around underweight models not being allowed to walk the runway is proof of that in itself. The second part of this joke also involves playing dumb and that is the declaration of just existing. For the millionth time, existing as a fat person is not promoting obesity. Loving your body and being confident about your body is also not promoting obesity. Marissa and the people like her in her movement are not just existing. But you will hear this phrase and read this phrase over and over from the activists who are part of this movement. Watch me promote obesity just by existing. Fat people are told that merely by existing, we glorify obesity. They call it glamorizing obesity when like plus size people are just, you know, existing. This is a highly manipulative response. It stirs a sense of injustice to think that someone can't just exist without being accused of whatever it might be. Just a PSA, someone simply living is not promoting anything. They're not promoting obesity. We're simply trying to exist and enjoy our lives. Two things are happening with this line. Valid criticism is essentially being conflated with harassment and the person receiving the criticism is now able to portray themselves as a victim. I'll be the victim. All your life. Rather than addressing the criticism. But these activists aren't just existing. They're advocating. They are part of a movement. They use their social media platforms to spread a message. And then when their message is questioned, they roll over and say, why can't I just exist? When people come on a fat creator's page and say, oh, you're promoting obesity, they don't actually mean promoting. What they mean is not actively denigrating fatness. We're closer to promoting happiness while being fat, but even then we're not necessarily promoting happiness, just living, just neutrality, just existing. And that makes these people so mad. That's promoting obesity. To them, that's promoting obesity. If I were on the side of the road with a group of people holding signs or chanting or passing out leaflets, would you call that just existing? I would not. <laughs> that is activism. That is campaigning or protesting. It could be a number of things, but it's not just existing. And it doesn't matter if the activism is online, it's still activism. But they have repeated this line ad nauseum to the point that they have taught other people to say it for them. Why are you so bothered by a fat person just existing who doesn't hate themselves. Let's take a look at what is being defined as just existing in this situation. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy, and I am 100% glorifying obesity, and there's nothing you can do about it. 
sorry, but even if this is supposed to be a joke... It is literally a joke. It is literally to make fun of those of you who clutch your pearls at the idea of us glorifying obesity by merely existing. We cannot call this just existing. I mean, it's actually meant to provoke a response at the end. And there's nothing you can do about it. Attempting to shift attitudes around who and what is considered beautiful is activism, and she spends a lot of time doing it, and a lot of people find value in her activism, but some people don't. I don't know if I will ever understand how somebody could have so much hatred and anger for somebody they've never met. All because I dare to exist in my, in my skin. I just, when is it going to be enough? Like, when are we going to say, okay, you can just exist in peace. Like, you can post your stuff and I'll do my own thing. Listen, in no way am I condoning harassment or anything like that. But I do not understand how I am supposed to interpret that TikTok as just existing. Yet, because her response to being told that she was glorifying unhealthy behaviors what we're not going to do is glorify unhealthy behaviors was this emotional, why can't I just exist video Everyone was like, yeah, she's just existing. What's wrong with you people? You say she's promoting unhealthy behavior. She's literally existing confidently in the body that she has and encouraging others to do the same. And even if she were promoting unhealthy behavior, as you claim she was, um, it's not your business. If you just look up Mary Fran on TikTok, you will be shocked at how many people came out to say the exact same thing, that telling the world that you're glorifying obesity isn't glorifying anything. I mean, it is really a powerful study in emotional manipulation. Also, something that I don't think a lot of these body positive fat acceptance activists understand is that activism is mostly not fun. I feel like this is no longer fun. This is no longer fun for me. It's not fun anymore. So I gotta take some time. Trying to change attitudes on a societal level isn't easy, and it probably shouldn't be. There is a philosopher who suggested that all truth goes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. And then third, it's accepted as self-evident. So essentially, the blueprint is people are going to laugh at you, they're going to challenge you in every way possible, and then those same people are eventually going to be like, well, yeah, of course segregation is wrong. Of course women should be able to vote. Fun is not the word I would use to describe the process. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! I don't think advocating for fat acceptance has to be glorifying obesity, but before we can even get to that conversation, we have to plant this flag that there is a difference in just existing and advocating. So we will build from here. Let me know your thoughts down below. Am I crazy? Is this just existing? Is there something I am missing? Do you think fat activism glorifies obesity? So far on the poll, I have up 97% of people say yes but we are going to keep talking about this, so I really want to read your thoughts. We will talk again soon, so take care until then. Oh, wait, also like and subscribe on this video if you are still here, and we are finishing with the video from Fat Fab Feminist that I actually thought was pretty funny. <laughs>